All right, let's talk a little about sanitation. I want to sanitize the kegs before putting beer in them, obviously. So to do that, I've mixed up about a gallon of sanitizer in here. I'm using Five Star Santa Clean, which is not really marketed as a sanitizer, but uh, from uh, admissions by the company themselves, it's really just because they didn't want to pay for it, you know, to, to have it certified. So you've probably heard of Star San, which is another product by Five Star. And the reason I use Santa Clean for this is because Star San tends to foam a lot. And I like to see where the, the beer level is in the keg because I don't want to overfill it. So this foams a lot less, but still does a good job sanitizing. And what I've got here is a paintball canister with a regulator on it. And I'm going to use that for pushing gas around. And you'll see why in a minute or two. So to put the lid on, there's, it's kind of got like a long side and a short side with the valve. Put the long side in, turn it, and lift it up to try to seat the gasket against the, uh, the keg. Put the little arm down and hit it with some gas. What the gas will do is push the, the lid up and seal it tight. And don't forget to turn off the check valve. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of gas in here to seal the lid. That's also something to note. I'm glad that happened. The poppets, sometimes, when you take the, the quick connect off, they don't seal right. Not a big deal. It just happens. So just kind of push the poppet in with your thumbnail, and that'll kind of seat itself and stop the flow of gas. So in order to sanitize the keg, it's full of sanitizer. Rather than lift it up and shake it around, I usually put it on the edge of my sink. Give it a little roll. Just to make sure all the guts are coated. Now the other reason that I put gas in here is because I'm going to run a bunch of the sanitizer out through the dip tube to make sure the inside of the dip tube and the inside of the, the post and the poppets, make sure all that stuff is sanitized. And then I can use this, I can jump the um, sanitizer in here to my other keg. And then, you know, everybody gets sanitized in a big long chain. You'll see. So getting ready to go now. I've got, this is a wallpaper tray. They sell it at big box stores or hardware stores for putting rolls of uh, wallpaper in there. It's nice for putting long things like my wine thief and the parts of my uh, auto siphon, which is a tool I can't live without. I love my auto siphon. I'm also going to have the hose that I'm going to use for racking. That's going to go in there. You'll see in a minute. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is get everybody in, in the pool. Now this is already pressurized. What I have here is just a jumper. It's got a quick connect on one end and it's just open on the other end. I have a fitting on there so I can thread another quick connect if I want to go from keg to keg. That's why they call it a jumper because it jumps from one keg to the other. But for right now, I'm just going to squirt sanitizer in here, get it all through the hoses, make sure everything's good and wet down. I know some of you are going, oh god, you're wasting carbon dioxide. Yeah, I just consider it as part of the cost of the process. It's not that expensive. It cost me $5 to fill up that... Uh, CO2 paintball tank, and it lasts me a long time. And then once I feel like I've got enough in there, I'll switch over to the keg, and just jump it over to the next keg. Give it a little shot of CO2 if it looks like it's slowing down. Doesn't take much. And while that's going, I'm going to take a little sample here. See how we're doing. Because this has been in the in the kegs almost a month, so I'm not really I haven't been taking samples because I'm not really concerned. I'm sure fermentation is complete. I just want to get an idea of where it finished. So I will put you here. Just stay there, would you? You may
may have seen this in my other video. Still think that is the coolest way to take a sample ever. Oops, and there goes my hose on the floor. That'll make a nice mess. So we'll just let that drain. Hoping I got enough. Oh, it's close. That yeah, should be close enough. That's pretty too. Wow, that is crystal clear. Alright, so this auto siphon. Auto siphon has the internal cane, and the internal cane has the hose attached to it, like so. And I put a little hose clamp on there. You notice everything is soaking wet with sanitizer, that's a good thing. the outer tube and the outer tube has a little uh, little hat on it and that's supposed to help prevent you from sucking trube up into the bottom and then one piece just goes inside the other and it looks like ready to rack, my friends. Take the blow-off tube out. Boink. Throw it in the sink. And we get racking. So the idea here is to get the... Hey. The idea here first is <laughs> to open the keg because you're not going to get anything in it otherwise. Step two. <laughs> Step two is getting the tube all the way to the bottom. You want that tube to sit on the bottom because you don't want the beer to splash around and get aerated. That's what makes oxygenated beer. It tastes like cardboard. It makes nobody happy. To get the siphon started, all you got to do is lift up and push down. If it doesn't go, give it another little shot, work out any air bubbles, and that's it. Siphon started. Now you just wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. So once you've got your keg as full as you like, gently remove the hose. Got my uh, sanitized container waiting. Add a little bit of extra sanitizer at the bottom there. Just want to dump that out. All right. And you put the lid on just like before. Lift it up. Lock it down. And hit it with the gas. Again, don't forget to close the valve. Now, what I like to do is purge the oxygen from the headspace. Just let the gas out a couple times. Really just so there's more CO2 than oxygen in there. Let the pressure equalize. Boom, keg beer. Done. Get that out of the way to the sink with you. This guy. No real need to re-sanitize it. I'm just going from uh, beer to beer. So again, racking cane down in there, auto siphon rather. Lift up and push down. Give it a little squeeze to get all the bubbles out. 
and you've got a beautiful siphon going. A good siphon should be dead silent. You don't want to hear any splashing in there, like I said. If you do, adjust the hose a little bit so that it uh, gives you a nice quiet siphon. And if you have something you can jam in here, previously sanitized, please, then you don't have to stand there and hold it. Something nice and soft like a vinyl hose. And that's it. That's how I transfer my beers. Feel free to comment if you have any questions. If you have something that you do differently or you like to do better, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, hey, cheers.